the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has called for the former Attorney General to be sacked after a damning review into the region's boot camp west of Ingham. The report raised concerns about favouritism and cost blowouts, but the provider is standing by its service. It was the LNP's tough love approach to punishing young criminals. But today, the former Attorney General was defending his boot camp trial. Do I stand by my decision? Absolutely, because I see the results. Jared Blay appointed Beyond Billabong to run the camp in 2014. Its CEO is an LNP donor. Now, the Auditor General's report has revealed suitable low cost service providers were available. It notes the lack of transparency that leads the former government open to accusations of favouritism. The Premier wants the now shadow minister stood down. What this report says very clearly is that there was an abuse of the process. The report also highlighted budget holes. $3 million was originally set aside for the Lincoln Springs facility. That's now blown out to $10 million. Queensland taxpayers' money was wasted. The auditor found the trial wasn't fully funded either. The former government pitched in nearly a quarter of a million dollars for renovations to their private residence and paid for security to man the site. Of course there was going to be additional costs with the super boot camp. Of course there was going to be additional staffing capacities because we were taking kids from Cairns and from Townsville. Queensland Youth Services applied to run the program in Townsville and was the department's preferred provider. A farce, I'm afraid. Um, I don't see how that is fair, a fair process. In a statement, Beyond Billabong says the program is achieving results in reducing recidivism and improving community safety. Uh, they've proven the results with the successes of turning young kids' lives around. Claire Barnes, 7 News.